their particular stable coins and all that sort of thing. Any of that that opposes BlackRock and Fidelity and BACT and I forget it, all the other ones. And what we've been seeing in the news as many of those companies are moving outside of the states and doing business there. So we're getting, they're setting things up for their own particular businesses to be the exchanges. And a long <laughs> a reading I did a long time ago, there's only going to be a couple exchanges that are going to be allowed in the United States. And people kind of went, well, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Now we're starting to see that prediction start to come true, where there's going to be four or five exchanges that are going to be left within the United States. And that's the way they're trying to set it up. Okay. It's all according to some master plan that they have. It's kind of backfiring on them because it's actually doing the opposite um, for many of the people that are into cryptocurrencies. We have VPNs, so, and it is on the internet. So, and they're waiting for four to six months to unleash everything when they get all their stuff underway. And what happens in four to six months? I wonder if anyone can guess. So it's August, September. It's after October, November, December, uh, April. Going up to April, what happens in April? Half an hour. I think they're going to be waiting until that moment and everything is going to be exploding. And that's where we're going to have the singing monkeys and the dancing girls. You watch, you'll see. <laughs> Buy it from our exchanges. Don't go to Coinbase. Come to Fidelity. It's where you're going to get your Bitcoin. Okay, so the SEC, their plan is actually going to be a go according to plan. Uh, if you have any Bitcoin in any of those cryptocurrencies, hang on to them. Do not do any knee-jerk reactions and sell them at this particular time. Don't have them on the exchanges, okay? Especially if you're in the United States, keep them in your treasure wallet or your ledger nano and sit on it because there's going to be some big things that are going to be happening in the next couple of months, four to six months. Uh, that it, That's the new rumor that's going around and there is some validity and it kind of lines up to what many of the things that I've been seeing and saying on, on here. Okay. So a lot of the Gary Gensler thing of fear mongering is kind of working, but mostly not, with, especially with the uh, hardened crypto enthusiast. It's just making them buy more. Okay, so hopefully that answers any questions about it.